stop by a trigger warning my phone, because uh, it's called Another Trans Poem Yeehaw. Um, <laughs> so I, I think you can work out what sort of business is going to be going on in there. <laughs> when I was little, I burned like a dragon. I hate yous blistered off my tongue, but my mother was always firm. I love yous were a fire blanket around the both of us. She would hold me close to smother me calm, but there are some things even a mother cannot forgive. And in that moment of my confession, you hated me. I saw it in my eyes, but what's wrong with you is the wise. You hated me for always taking a hatchet to this family, for hacking so hard, Dad offered me his asthma inhaler, but no ventilin will loosen the jaws of this binder that keeps me in tight check. So I tried not to cry as I carved lines down the floorboards, turned this house into territories and rationed my time, because I presented myself to you a newborn, and you reduced me to a chalk outline, made me dig my fingers into my palms, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine! I tried to colour myself in for you again and again, but your tears washed it all away, so whenever I look at you, I still hear that torrential rain, all that splashing just to cover up my dead name. You sobbed like my grandmother at my uncle's grave, you made claims to the pain of a of million mothers stripped of their children. You acted like I stole my own love, like I sat at that table and killed your daughter, but I was just eating my dinner and lacking appetite. We were eating tortellini, which is somewhat ruined for me. <laughs> And your words made me feel packaged. Just a little parcel of rot on a plate. Don't talk rot, my grandmother used to say, so I tried to tell the truth and tripped on spit. Usually, you were starving for the fight, fierce to make it known that you were always right, but in that moment, you ate defeat. And when I told you I loved you, you choked. And when I went to bed hungry, you didn't know that I don't bind just to steal my mind. It's also to hold my ribs together after you shook them loose. Tried to grab my heart just to feel it deep inside you again, but your baby is not dead. He's just outgrown those baby clothes. So while you wallow in the hollow clang of loss, I walked away and I moved on. So even though I've forgiven you, now every time I tell you I love you, it catches in my throat. Now every time I tell you I love you, a part of me chokes.